Hey folks, how you doing? This is Shock, and we're going to be talking to you how I had a debate last night with three atheists, and I won. Three versus one. So let's get on the throttle, and I'll tell you how the three atheists lost the debate and how I won the debate, very humbly speaking. First, let me get all the way over the fast lane, and then I'll finish the story. It's actually a pretty good story, and I think if you're a Christian, you will uh, enjoy this story a lot. And it'll help you when you're debating with sweet, cuddly, lovable, huggable atheists like I do. Now, first of all, check this out. If you type in atheism, hold on, my nose is... If you type in, uh, go on Google and type in atheism, at least last night, uh, one of my videos popped up on the very first page of Google. And it's very tough to get your video on the first page of Google. And the video was basically about our chat room and how atheists and theists are debating. Hold on, I gotta fix the camera. Hold on. How atheists and theists are debating in our chat room. Now don't go there yet, because I want to tell you how I defeated not one, not two, but three atheists at once. It was a three-on-one debate match. And all three of them lost the debate. And I'm going to tell you what they said. And yes, Santa Claus was brought up. And then I'm going to tell you what I said. You know, I'm pointing my fingers like this. And I think this guy in the Toyota is like... I better get out of this guy's way. He's mad at me. I'm not mad at you, sir. I'm just recording video. Uh, so, here we go. When this video is over, click right below this video where it says shotgunnow.net. You can go to our debate room, especially if you are an atheist. I invite you to bring your toughest material and challenge us theists in the chat room because we will destroy you in debate we love you as an atheist but we will destroy your arguments in debate like we do every time so yesterday uh there were not one not two but three atheists well there were more than three in the room but three of them that said yeah we'll go ahead and we'll debate you look i'm getting the taxi driver scared now he's okay i'm getting over too uh so just kidding he had to get over so there are three atheists in the room, and, and I it took me about five minutes to get them to muster, to get me to talk them into mustering up enough courage to debate me. I'm like, come on, I'll take three of you on at once. You prove, this is what I told the atheist, and it's very windy. I think I'm going to get some strong winds on video. We'll see, because I'm not even into the strong part yet, but... Here was the debate challenge. The atheists, three of them, were gonna prove that atheism was true. I didn't think they could do it and they failed miserably because I'm gonna tell you what they said. They did not prove that atheism was true. I said, but I'm gonna prove that Christianity is true. And when we're done, everyone can look at the debate, even the atheists, and let's logically look whose arguments won the debate. That the atheist clearly lost the debate. So first I let them speak. And I'm like, okay, whatever you guys want to say, talk as long as you want. Prove that atheism is true. So they began saying, well, prove that Santa Claus is true. Yes. It always starts off with that. Prove that leprechauns are true. And then the uh, atheists, as they went from one atheist to the other, they had no argument that atheism was true at all. One guy said, there's no proof that God exists. He stated his opinion, but he really couldn't show that there's no proof that God exists. The majority of the world does believe God exists. So the majority of the world, their opinion outdoes his opinion. You have to provide science data proof that atheism is true. The problem is if there was proof that atheism was true, they'd be able to say, here's the proof. 
But since there isn't any proof that atheism is true, they have to go into panic mode and talk about Santa and all that other stuff. So, what else do they say? Uh, leprechauns. Um, oh, and then they cuss for some reason. They got really angry, a uh, couple of them, and they started using profanity and stuff. I guess they were mad because they realized that atheism was a bunch of crapola and it was looking bad for them. Very embarrassing in the chat room. And then I said, well, are you guys done? That's all they had. They had, they were done. <laughs> that was it. So, and then I'm gonna tell you what I had, what I provided. It is very windy, by the way. Strong winds again. So, let's look at what the atheist said. Santa Claus and Leprechaun prove atheism is true. No one's taking that seriously. And then they said, what was the other thing they said? Oh yeah, there's no proof that God exists. They said that. Now, but then they put a period on the end of it and they did not provide proof and evidence or science that shows that they're true, that they're right. We've got a motorcycle guy coming up behind us. So we'll get you something besides boring video of me talking here. Um, now let's get to what I said. So I said, I think he's going on that freeway on the right. I can go that way too. Let's see. R6. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so I said, well... Let me use science. You know, you could talk about, there's another motorcycle up there too. You could talk about DNA. This is an R6. I love these bikes. I was just talking about this bike in the chat room last night, wondering if the seat was comfortable because I've heard a lot of complaints about the seat. I may get an R6. Uh, I love the body style on it. Um, so I brought up science, DNA, that DNA is information. If there's information, there's got to be an information giver. I brought up that the universe has a beginning. I brought that up. I'm gonna get two motorcycles on video here. Let's see what this guy's riding. And then I said, if the universe, he is on a CBR, if the universe had a beginning, let me get you the side shot of this, this bike. Watch how cool this is. Isn't that a nice bike? R6, buddy, let me give him a thumbs up. All right, man, thumbs up. Um, so anyways, <laughs> that's nice. Look at that. You got to admit, there's not a nicer bike than that. Uh, R1, R6. I love the body style though. I got to get all the way over to the right, so let me hurry. So anyways, um, the universe had a beginning, I told them. Well, that only could mean two things. It was either a natural beginning or a supernatural beginning. There's no other possible choice. I got to get all the way over to the right. So I said, well, it can't be natural because the universe is made up of nature. That means it would have to create itself into existence. That is scientifically impossible. We know that out of nothing, nothing comes. The more logical explanation is something supernatural cre created the universe. What makes more rational sense? And my arguments made more rational sense. Let me let this dude in here right here because we're all merging. I want to be nice. If you have a hundred people in front of you and they're not Christians, they're not atheists or humanists, hey, you know what? The R6 took this, this freeway. See if I can catch up. And I were to ask them the natural argument or the supernatural argument for the universe most people would be rational and say well nature couldn't have done it how could nature create itself it had to be supernatural that's that's the logical rational conclusion very windy hold on let me tuck down so I can hold and turn here Woo! Very well. Then I talked about uh, proof of Jesus Christ. Because if Jesus Christ existed, he did say he was the Son of God. So if he existed, 
And it is true that he's the son of God. That also proves God exists. There are things that are very surprising to me that all the New Testament scholars, they agree on. A vast majority of New Testament scholars agree. Number one, Jesus lived. We have extra biblical evidence of that also. Number two, that he died. Number three, that he rose again. Eyewitness account stating that Jesus Christ rose again. Also, Paul even states that there's over 500 witnesses to the resurrection. The empty tomb, that's another thing that the scholars agree on. Most New Testament scholars agree on the empty tomb. Then we have the disciples stating they saw Jesus, they ate with Jesus Christ when he was risen. They believed it so much they died for their belief that they saw him again. This is why I, as an ex-atheist, ex-atheist, you can see why I left the humanist worldview of atheism, which has nothing really, no proof or evidence, only ridiculous claims such as Santa and leprechauns and stuff. Check out this cop on the right. I don't know if you can see him. Right from this truck, see he's got a radar gun. Uh, I couldn't get him with <laughs> R6 guy probably flew by him. This is why the rational conclusion is Christianity. The rational choice is Christianity. This is why only 2.3% of the world population, approximately, are atheists. This is why over 90% of the world population confesses that God exists. Anyways, so not one atheist was defeated or two, but all three atheists were defeated. They could not provide any rational argument that proves atheism is true. In fact, they contradicted each other. One atheist says, I do believe it's possible for God to exist. Then you have another atheist saying, no, it's impossible for God to exist. That's a contradiction. Game over, atheism. You lose. Are there no worthy opponents? No atheists that are worthy to come into the chat room and debate with us? I don't think so. If you feel you're worthy, come in and prove atheism true. I challenge you to a debate. You'll be surprised how many people we challenge and they're afraid to show up. So we want some atheist with courage, with the spine, a spine of steel, like I have. I have courage, a spine of steel, because I'm confident that I am right. I am 100% confident I am right because my beliefs aren't based on opinions, my friends. They're based on facts, facts that cannot be denied. So. Get in the arena. I'll see you guys right below here. Shockonout.net, right below here. When you go there, go to chat room number one, or we also have two chat rooms now. We're getting so many people in chat that we had to create two chat rooms. Click right below here. I'll see you there. I should be there by the time this video is uploaded. I want you to prove to me why atheism is true. And I'll go mono to mono, head to head with you, and I'll prove to you that atheism is a bunch of crap. It really is. Thank God I left atheism. Thank God I've seen the light. God bless you guys. You have a great week. Maranatha.